Good morning, everyone. Good Say hello. Morning, good morning, teacher. Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, morning. everybody. Good morning. For some reason, it looks like my camera is not working, so I'll keep that off for now. But hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, today, guys, I want to get right into it. Looks like we've got 28 of us so far in class. Uh, remember that our attendance, I'm taking attendance from the list, from our, our talks, from our live meetings each day, Monday through Friday, from 8 to about 9.40. I try to conclude at 9.40, although I'm not always successful. But today... Today, my friends, my dear friends, I'm going to share my screen. We've got a couple of activities, basically two activities I would like to do today. The first, I want us to begin to practice some of the questions to help with our listening comprehension, to practice some TOEFL-like questions. So today, we're going to get some practice uh, to answer some TOEFL-like questions. This is not for a grade, not today. This is just for practice and to see um, how we can become more familiar with the types of questions. All right. Before we get into that, though, I want to remind everyone, last week we completed our first episode of our first podcast. Last week we completed this file, this spreadsheet, with information about each of our podcasts. So I know that this was our first episode, and I know some of you had some issues recording your first episode, but this is going to be something that we do each week. Okay, I'm going to ask you for each Friday to upload your next episode of your podcast. Okay, again, you choose the topic. All of you have chosen main topics here, right? We've got our categories in column F, science, culture, culture and travel. We might come back to that and modify those names, but we have music, we have health, a lot of wonderful topics to talk about. And you can choose the topic that you want to discuss. But I would stick with one topic. I would stay consistent with the same category throughout your podcast. Okay, try to stick to the same category for your podcast all semester. Now, uh, I know this was our first week. Last week was our first episode, and some of you of you were having some problems. So. I want to give everyone until today, if you have not completed the first episode, I'm going to ask that you please complete it by today. Now, what does this include? Okay, obviously it includes completing your audio, but it also should include this spreadsheet. Make sure that you've completed this spreadsheet with the listening on the left-hand side, these are the podcasts that you're going to listen to each week. And again, I would recommend that you listen each day, a little bit each day, to get new information so that you can choose what you want to talk about in your own podcast for the week. All right, so again, the left-hand side, we need to have at least one podcast. So everyone should have a podcast in this column right here. All of us should have our podcast that we listen to here in this column. Some of you may have additional podcasts, okay? So if you have additional podcasts that you listen to, then you can include those podcasts here. So we have a title. Make sure the title is at least three to five words for mo in most cases, okay? I think I went through some of your uh, titles, and I mentioned which ones I kind of liked and which ones we might want to take another look at. Uh, some of the titles are okay. Two-word titles, Talking Metals, good, right? Your Cinema, that's fine. Um, 
but I would probably write out um, Soccer Talk is good. Skin Wind, that, that's fine. That's good. Um, but make sure that you have meaningful titles, and I would try to avoid all uppercase. All right, I would stick to upper and lowercase. That's capital letters and lowercase uh, letters. Finally, the last thing I'll say is make sure that you have a hypertext link. What's a hypertext link? Well, this is a hypertext link, shared folder. So write the word shared folder just like this, and then include the link in the text, okay? So instead of having a really long link like this, include it like this, a shared folder, okay? So just write out the phrase shared folder, and then select the cell. So I think we talked about this here. We can just say shared, let's capitalize it, shared folder, and then copy or select the cell, insert, link, and then you can select HTTP, copy and paste the URL to your folder so that all of us can access your podcasts. Okay, this is where you can upload your podcast episodes, your audio or video files. All right, so um, this week, I'll go ahead and tell you the next assignment for our podcast will be due on Friday. So you can start any day this week creating your second episode. Okay, your second episode will be due on Friday. Every Friday we'll have an episode due. So you can updo update or upload your file anytime throughout the week, but it's for but it's for Friday. All right, any questions, guys, about your podcast or crea creating your episodes? No. 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 Nope. All right. Okay, guys. So let's take a look um, at, let's close this. All right, today we're going to have some practice with TOEFL-like questions. We're going to listen to an audio, and we're going to have some questions that you can answer online. And this is the online um, questions. This is, this is where you can find the online questions. I posted the link in Microsoft Teams. And all of you should be able to access this, uh, this form. Now, the form is not going to be open for another few minutes, all right? So if you click on this link, you probably will not be able to get in yet, okay? But this is where the link is. We're going to start here in just a few minutes, all right? So you can access the link to answer the questions, and then I will play the audio in class online right right now okay in a few minutes okay All right so this is where you can find the link if you want to go ahead and try to open this up into your browser go ahead I think you can do this on a phone but if you're on a computer it might be a little bit easier but go ahead and open this up into your browser and then we'll come back here in a few minutes now today I want us to begin paying close attention to the types of questions that are asked in a TOEFL exam. There are specific types of questions that are asked repeatedly throughout a TOEFL or any type of standardized listening comprehension exam. And the four types are the first type, main idea. So a lot of questions are about the main idea. Some examples. What is this talk mainly about? All right, you're going to become familiar. You're probably already familiar with that type of question. What are the speakers mainly discussing? This is another example of a question that relates to the main idea of the audio. What aspect, part, or type, or element of something does the professor mainly discuss? 
Okay, this is another example. What does the student ask for or need or want from someone? Okay, so these are all very typical types of questions that relate to the main idea. So when you're listening, you can be thinking about, okay, what is the main idea of what they're talking about? Today, I think it's a good idea to take notes. So if you want to take notes on electronic device, if you want to take notes on a regular piece of paper, I highly recommend that you take notes. You can take notes while you listen. You can take notes after you listen. Okay, so today, I again, I recommend that you take notes as you're listening to the audios. The second type of question is related to function. Here are some examples of function types of questions. What is the main purpose of the conversation or the lecture? Okay, what's the main purpose? You'll hear or see a lot of these types of questions. Number two, why does the student go to see her professor? A lot of the questions, as you know, for those of you who have taken to the TOEFL exam, you get a lot of audio that relate to a teacher and a student uh, situation or a professor and a student situation or context. So a lot of the questions relate to the professor or the student. Why is the professor giving the lecture? Right? Why are the speakers discussing or talking about X, X topic? Okay, so function. These are examples of function types of questions. The third type of question, details. Very common type of question to ask. According to the professor or the main speaker, what or who or whom? Or which, or why, or where, or when, how does this something happen? These are questions that relate to the details. Any type, any type of question word that is used typically is asking for now some detail. All right, so when you see a question word, think detail. What, or who, or why, or which, or how does the professor, and then talk about whatever it is. Okay, so the whatever it is, this ellipsis here, that's usually the general idea. But they're asking here the specifics. Again, the question words, that's a, that's a clue. That's an indicator to say, okay, I have to pay close attention. They're asking for certain details. So when you're taking notes, right, and you're listening, be aware of the general idea. Be aware of... The function, be aware of the details, any specific details that you hear. The last type of question type refers to inference. Inference is something that relates to the meaning of something, but it's not explicit. If you want to think of it as something implicit, right? What is what is saying what are they saying, but they're not using those words to actually say it explicitly? That relates to inference. Some question types. What comparison or contrast does the speaker make? What does something, whatever the, some topic, demonstrate or show, or what does it indicate? These are inference types of questions. What does the speaker imply? Sometimes they use the word imply. And this also relates to inference. It's like, what is the, what are they saying? But they're not using the words explicitly, right? Sometimes they even use the word inferred. What can be inferred by whatever? Again, inference, something that's being said, that's been communicating, but not specifically based on the words that are used by the speakers. Basically, those are the four main types of questions, okay? Inference, details, function, and main idea. All right, so today I want us to get some practice in. The quiz should be open now. All of you should. All right, guys, we made it. Take a, take a moment.
to relax, get a glass of water, stretch. I know one hour of listening is difficult, so just take a moment. We'll take a just a brief moment to kind of reconnect here and um, stretch a little bit. Let me know how you thought about the listening in general. How do you feel about taking the listening portion of the TOEFL? Is it, uh, is it difficult for you? Um, if you want to share, either activate your mic or make comments in the chat. We'll spend just, just a moment here to kind of reconnect uh, here with uh, what we're going to do with uh, before we start with the next activity. But how do you guys feel about the listening part of uh, the TOEFL section? What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts. It looks a little bit confused. And what do you find uh, confusing? Um, because sometimes I think they talk too fast. Okay. And I just get lost. I don't even know what are they talking about. <laughs> okay. Anybody else feel the same way or have <laughs> another idea? I feel the same, but uh, I think that's because of lack of vocabulary in some topics. Uh, because, for example, I uh, some topics was uh, were kind of easier than other topics uh, just just because of uh, my vocabulary in those uh, in those areas. Yeah, good point. Uh, uh, vocabulary is very important. And uh, having or listening to someone speak quickly, it's kind of related, really. If the vocabulary, if you're not familiar with the vocabulary, then it's it's difficult to to keep up. Definitely. All right. Anybody else have any ideas, thoughts? Teacher. Yes. I felt the dialogue is very fast. Okay. So the speaking is quick, is very fast. Okay. Yeah, I know that's that's difficult. Um, this does relate a lot to to vocabulary. It also relates a lot to just being exposed to the language. And this is one of the reasons why all of our classes and a lot of what we do is either in video or in audio and it's available to you to keep listening. One of the best things that you can do right now to improve your listening is the obvious, is to listen to things like whatever it is, anything you can listen to in English. Now I know in the TOEFL uh, exam, Many of the topics are academic. It's, it's basically a class situation where they're talking about astrology, astronomy, right, geology, these topics that you would likely see if you were studying in the university, right? So it's, I think, um, if, if you really want to improve your scores and the TOEFL score, I think it's important to become familiar with some of these topics. You don't have to be experts, right? You don't have to know a lot about all of these subjects, these, uh, these, uh, these courses. But I think having some general idea about what some of these courses are likely to be on the exam, I think that will be helpful. And as we practice, we're going to have a lot of, of practice this semester with TOEFL-like questions. And we're going to talk about, in fact, this week on Wednesday, we will, in fact, I'm sorry, tomorrow, we'll review some key vocabulary. We'll look at, we'll kind of review a few things that we I want to talk about uh, based on today's exam. But let me tell you what's coming up on Wednesday. We're going to have another practice, and we're going to have another practice on Friday. This week, all of you are going to receive a grade, your first listening comprehension grade for, for this class, okay? 
And I'm going to take the best score from today, Wednesday, and Friday's uh, exam or quiz, whatever you want to call it. All right. I'm going to give you uh, whatever the best grade that you achieve from those three is the grade that you're going to get. I want to give you a lot of practice and I want us to reflect and discuss specific aspects of the exam throughout uh, the course. And that, that's what we're going to plan on doing to help you, obviously with your listening comprehension, but also your the way that you prepare for uh, the listening section of the TOEFL exam. Okay? So don't worry. Uh, we're going to do this again on Wednesday and we're going to do it again on Friday, right? This is something very similar to what we did uh, today. What I would like to do, I want to start an activity. I know it's a little bit late here. It's at 9.27. We still have a few minutes. I want to begin the next task. I'm going to give you all day today, and I'll probably give you uh, about a half an hour in tomorrow's class to complete this task. It's another Flipgrid uh, activity. This is to practice your speaking. I'm going to share in the Microsoft Teams platform the link. Now, the link also includes the code. So remember, I think the first time you enter into any new Flipgrid topic, you need the code. So I'm posting here to... Microsoft Teams, the link. So if you click on this link, it should take you there. The last, I don't know how many digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight digits, that is the code. 64A, 0B, whatever. This is the code that you'll have to enter the first time that you get into Flipgrid. All right, so... Um, Basically, today, this is going to conclude our class. I'm going to be online for another 12 minutes or so to answer any questions or any problems you have accessing the Flipgrid assignment. If you go to the Flipgrid assignment, you'll see my video. So please watch my video first. You'll have to sign in, of course. Or at least I have to sign in. I'm not sure if you guys have to sign in every time. But sometimes it wants me to sign in here, so I'll sign in. And this is what the assignment looks like. It should look familiar. Please watch the video. I, I will tell you what to include in your video response. And then you can upload your video response. In this case, you may need some time to find an object to talk about. This is about telling a story about an object around your house. And so, again, if you don't finish today in class, I'll give you the rest of today and we'll probably, uh, the first part of class tomorrow, to complete the activity. We'll start at 8 o'clock and I'll give you about half an hour or so tomorrow in class to complete uh, this task. So you decide how much you need to prepare for this activity, all right? And um, go ahead and try now to sign in so that if you have issues, we can uh, resolve. I can help you with getting into this space so that if you want time to do this outside of class, you can do that. Otherwise, you can do it in class tomorrow uh, between 8 and 8.30. All right, so I'll be online here for another 10 minutes or so. We'll... Come back, I would say, at 9.35, five minutes or so, to close the class. But I want to be here for you guys to be able to access this new topic in Flipgrid. All right, so go ahead and try to get in. Again, let me know if you have any problems accessing uh, this topic.